Hello, this is a very short tutorial on how to use an online calculator by a Solat Whole Water manufacturer called Oventrop. So this helps you calculate the area of Solat Hot Water that would be necessary for residential building, how big your Solat Hot Water tank needs to be. And also it's going to give you how much energy you're going to get out of your Solat Hot Water system. So first of all, you need to select whether you want the systems to produce uh, drinking water or drinking water and heating. Now, if you want to get heating out of a solar hot water collector, uh, you need to remember that uh, solar hot water collectors be function best during the summer. Uh, so you're going to have to have much larger systems and quite a lot of the heat might end up being wasted. So we're going to choose just drinking water. Then you need to select the orientation of the roof or of the surface um, on which the solar hot water collector would be located. So ideally they should be uh, on the northern hemisphere, they should be south. Then you need to choose your location. So there's a few locations um, here. There's not all locations possible so you will need to choose something which is as close as possible to where you are. So let's say we are in the United Kingdom and then you need to choose the closest city. So let's say uh, we are somewhere in London. Then you need to choose the kind of solar hot water collectors. Um, so these two here are, um, so you can see this is a different size. But the, the two first ones are more efficient and more expensive systems, whereas this one and that one are less efficient systems. So this one would be the least efficient of all the systems. So flat plate collectors tend to be less efficient than these types, which are evacuated tubes. So let's choose this type, which is an efficient solar collector. And then we can choose the slope of the roof um, so you can modulate here so let's say 40 percent uh, 40 degrees which is tends to be quite a good uh, slope to put solar hot water collectors this is the hot water temperature 55 degrees is fairly re reasonable the number of people so this goes only to 20 so let's say this is for four people and here you can choose the kind of boiler that you have so uh, or heating system for the hot water. You need additional heating um, simply because it, you know, you're not going to have enough heat in the summer, in the winter, sorry, uh, for the, the hot water system. So you do need to have some additional heating system. So that would be timber, that's electricity, that's gas and that's oil. So let's choose gas, which is quite a common system. And then you will calculate the size. So this gives you the area of solar hot water collector you need to have. And it will give you also the size of your tank here, hot water tank. Now, at this point, you can calculate the actual energy production of the system. And as you can see, uh, we have 2,000 and a bit kilowatt hour of solar energy, which is transformed into hot water every year. And 63% of the hot water is provided through solar energy. And this is saving 700 uh, kilograms of CO2 per annum. Um, so yes, this is quite a useful little tool and I uh, hope it's going to be handy for your studies. Thank you.